point in the season do you expect any drop off just based on who you're playing? No, definitely not, especially not in November. Excuse me. In November, we should be playing our best football as a whole entire team, and that's the, that's the expect, expectation. And um, I think feel like we're hitting a really good stride, and then we got a bye week this week. We came at a perfect time for us and uh, get guys healthy. So I think it's, I think, I think think this is going to be a really good finish for us. Does it motivate you guys that you're third in the country in defense and the chances there to keep creeping closer? Yeah, definitely. You know, that's, 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 that's definitely a goal of ours. But, you know, really the motivation is just trying to, trying to improve as a whole entire unit on defense and, um, you know, just trying to improve as a team and special team. So, so we try to get better in all facets of the game. So we, we, we know November, you know, that's really – that's what we like to call championship time, you know, to position ourselves a little postseason play. But um, we just expect to be playing our best football as a whole entire team at this point – at this point in the season. Two years ago when all you've seen is sophomores struggling at times, did you look ahead and think it could be this good down the road? Yeah, you know, definitely, you know, we, we, we had the pieces, but, you know, guys were, guys were young and experienced um, as a whole, and uh, it was a lot of guys first time starting. You know, that was my first year starting, and, and you know, just, just the experience over the years and all the, all the big games we played in, it's just made us better players and a better unit, and um, it's just been progress since uh, Coach V first got here, and then I just, I just don't see it dropping off, and, um, and we, we know what we're doing now, so um, the results are starting to show. Do you foresee a, a big drop-off next year, or do you think you guys are – the seniors are doing a good job of teaching these younger guys, DJ and Carlos, that will have to take over your spots next year? You know, um, we, we really haven't even put in thought of that, man. We still got four games, five games left in this year, and uh, we're trying to make the most out of that, and I'm definitely, you know, trying to make the most out of my opportunity. And um, – you know, we just focusing week in and week out on the next game and uh, with the next task. So uh, that's kind of what I focus on right now. And, um, you know, everything else will take care of itself. We can talk about the opportunity for physical rest in the bye week, but mentally you guys have had, I guess, six straight weeks for preparing for opponents. That mental break, do you feel that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. The mental break is just as big as a physical break. Um, when we when you prepare as hard and as detailed as we do, um, you know the mental break is needed, and I think it's going to be good for a lot of guys, including myself. And, and um, it's, it's it's like I said, it just come at a right at the perfect time, and uh, you know we couldn't we couldn't ask for a better situation right now. Yeah, you know, you definitely when you get to the quarterback, whether it's a hurry sack or even just a, just getting a hit on him whenever you can, um, it, it affect it affects a quarterback, and um, and over the course of a game, it starts to take its toll. But um, you know, we just we just go in a week out and week out, um, trying to trying to prepare. And that that's that's kind of why you're seeing the success we're having as a whole defensive unit is getting to the quarterback. You got guys at every level. Um, getting hits on the quarterback sacks and you know QB pressures and um, so we coming from everywhere we coming from everywhere whether it was we got three down or we bring in the house and uh, you know that's just been that's just been great great for us and it provides flexibility for us to have the ability to rush the quarterback the way we do. Mackenzie Alexander is going to be, you know, he's probably going to be one of the more special players to come through this program. He, since he got here, you know, he things didn't go his way, and um, with his injury and everything, but he's definitely would have played for us last year if he wasn't hurt. And um, but he's just a guy that prepares, like I mean, like no other freshman I've seen. And uh, he he's steadily watching film before practice. He even watched the Syracuse game after the Syracuse game. Like he stayed here. They upload the film he was watching so um, you know me and McKenzie had one on one talks man he's just a really focused guy he knows what he wants coming from where he come from and uh, he's just he's just a, he's just a guy that knows what he wants he's special talent and he got a, a special work ethic and you know when those two when those two combine you know you get a you get a superstar which he's which he which he is in the process of becoming one you know he when he when he when he gets that experience under him he's he's going to be one of the better corners in the in the nation
give up one more point to four opponents than you did in that game. What changed after that? What 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 led the what led y'all to have y'all care for You know, really just 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 getting out of getting out of you know what we like to call the charity business. Just giving them touchdowns when it is really you know when the focus ain't there, the the effort ain't there. Then they get a seventy five yard jailbreak screen for a touchdown. So you know, just kind of just kind of um, cutting out cutting out giving up the big plays and staying focused the whole game because we played North Carolina really well. You know that first half, like they had one touchdown, and then they come out and put up um, some more points in the second half of the game, which is inexcusable. It wasn't nothing new that we didn't see. You know, guys just kind of relax. So just staying intense throughout the whole game is, uh, has been a very has been very big improvement for our defense. And, um, and you know, so that's the main focus now, playing a full game. And and we, we've been doing it as of late, and it's been working out for us. What do you do to make sure that intensity is still here today after today? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, it's going to be here. It's going to be here. It's in, we've done it uh, week in and week out now, and there's that's the expectation. We don't expect anything less. and. And won't accept anything less. And everybody knows what's what's expected of them. And you know that's 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 going to help us get to where we want to be. You got this extended prep time. You got fall break for a couple of days at the end of that. Does that make it a little easier to focus for you, or what? How do you respond when the campus is empty and there's not a lot going on? Um, you know, you just as far as from a football standpoint, yeah. just you know, just um, just knowing. Knowing the job at hand, you know we got a few extra days, you know, off, and being off from school is a, uh, I mean, it, it just give us more time to spend with football, and so which is, which is actually a positive. I mean, I don't really know um, how we can even make this a, you know, a negative thing. I don't feel like I don't see where um, any drop off should be expected, and we we definitely don't expect it. We just trying to get. Everybody back healthy. Give them, you know, a few few days mental break, and then just go back to work like we do, like we have been doing. So I don't see any negative coming from this break that we have. You guys, uh, this week you don't have a game. Outcome of Florida State, Louisville of interest to you on Thursday. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, there's two two top division opponents that that we both play. You know, seeing them compete. And uh, I feel like it's going to be a really good game. And I'm looking forward to see what happens.